What's up everyone, Jeremy here, MTG Headquarters. Back from pre-release where I picked up one of each of the intro packs for the brand new upcoming set, Dragons of Tarkir. We're gonna go through them, talk a little bit about them, but I'm gonna give you my disclaimer. Intro decks are great for new players or people looking to expand their collections or people who can't wait for the new cards. Uh, I like all of them generally the same and they are what they are. I mean, they're not a standard deck in a box. Here we have the Selesnia uh, intro deck, Massed Ranks. The whole is stronger than the sum of its parts. This deck embodies the draconic aspect of endurance, the cooperation. Enhance your creatures using the bolster mechanic and make them nearly invincible with mass battle tactics. I think Selesnia is by far and away the strongest clan currently. I have not played enough limited to really know. But inside the intro deck you get a little deck to play. It's great for new players. But you also get two Jagans of Tarkir boosters, a how to play guide, and other stuff most people don't look at. Let's get right to the, the deck. This is a beautiful Ashran Sovereign. I think they are really getting good with the foiling process. If only they wouldn't bend so badly. Um, so we have the Ashran Sovereign, Secure the Wastes as another rare. Dramoka Dunecaster. Servant of the Scale, very good card. Actually getting brewed a little bit in some standard decks. Dramoka Warrior is good. Lightwalker is very good in this deck. Uh, Skillguard Sentinel is good. Sandcrafter Mage is one of the best commons in the set, I, I think. Salt Road Quartermasters. Very even deck here with two Enduring Scale Lords as your finishers. Very good. Love the new art on Evolving Wilds, by the way. And in the back, we've got a couple of Pacifisms. Great removal. Jamoka Monument. Inspiring Call. I actually played this in my, um... In my pre-release pool, because I had so many tokens. Uh, Sheltered Air, you, you definitely don't need in this deck. Uh, you don't need fixing, and you can do better than that. Enduring Victory, I'd rather play two of those. And Dramoka's Gift, Bolster 4. That is uh, at instant speed. That's getting too spicy for the pepper. And now let's look what our off-red... Off -red Dragons of Tarkir Booster Packs contain. Again, if this is the intro deck for you, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can uh, buy one up. On the cheap. <laughs> Ojitai's Breath. Here we have Dance of the Skywise. You know what? I played these. Didn't play as good as I thought it would. Surge of Righteousness. Uh... Good, obvious side sideboard card. Self-inflicted wound. And a rare is a den protector. 2-1 for 2. Creatures with power less than den protectors can't block it. It also has Megamorph. When it's Megamorph, return target card from a graveyard to your hand. Our very first pack has a foil mythic in it. <laughs> uh, Dragonlord Atarka. This would be great for some EDH players, I'm sure. Flying Trample 8-8. When it enters the battlefield, deal 5 damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures, planeswalkers, or opponents. Wow, that was a spicy pack. I bet you that card's worth a few bucks. At least right now it probably is. Last pack. And again, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified each and every time I upload a new video. Nobody uploads more cons of target here or new set products probably than me. And, uh... You definitely don't want to miss anything. I'm doing all the intro decks, fat packs, doing a bunch of booster boxes. Lots of fun. Warbringer. Surge of Righteousness. Tapestry of Ages. And an Asherin Foremost. One and two white for two, two with double strike. Obviously very good and limited. When Asherin Foremost enters the battlefield or attacks, another target warrior creature you control against double strike. Huh. Warrior Tribal seems like a thing. Well, that is the Selesnia Mast Ranks. I think it's pretty fun. It's a pretty strong deck. If 
you like it, there's a link in the description below where you can scoop it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.